हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई विल टीच टू यू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इन द सेकंड चैप्टर इज द फेराडेज सेकंड लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर स्टडीड द फेराडेज फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस यू नो दैट इन द फर्स्ट लॉ फेराडे टेकन द ओनली सिंगल इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सोल्यूशन पास द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी देन यू कंक्लूड दैट द अमाउंट ऑफ सब्सटेंट डिपोजिटेड ऑन सिंगल इलेक्ट्रोड फ्रॉम द सिंगल इलेक्ट्रोइ सोल्यूशन is directly proportional to quantity of electricity passed on this is the first law is it not but in this second law he taken the two or more than two electrolytic solution and they are arranged in the series is you see on the blackboard here i will take on the two types of solution one is the copper sulfate solution and second is the silver nitrate solution these two electrolytic solution is arranged in series connected in series and pass the electricity same conductivity pass through this two electrode then the amount of substance is deposited or liberated on respect to electrode is directly proportional to chemical equivalent or equivalent weight of the substance this law is called as the faraday second law of electrolysis what is the faraday second law this law state that when the same quantity of electricity is passed through the different electrolyte solution arranged in series the amount of substance deposited on the cathode here in this cathode copper is deposited in this cathode silver is deposited the amount of metal or substance is deposited on the cathode is directly proportional to its chemical equivalent i understand how to write this simple line the two or more than two electrolyte -like solution connected in series and pass the same quantity of electricity through the electrolyte -like solution the amount of substance deposited or liberated on the respective electrode is directly proportional to its chemical equivalent or its equivalent weight here copper sulfate and silver nitrate is used therefore copper is deposited on this cathode and silver is deposited on this cathode mathematically how to write this second law consider w1 is the weight of copper is deposited cu is deposited on the cathode and e1 is the e1 is the chemical equivalent of cu w2 is the weight of silver deposited on the cathode and e2 is the chemical equivalent of az these two electrolyte solution connected in series then the amount of substance deposited is directly proportional chemical equivalent means the weight w is directly proportional to e1 and w2 is directly proportional to e2 according to faraday's second law consider this equation number 1 and this is the consider equation number 2 by dividing equation number 1 by 2 then we get what happens w1 upon w2 is equal to e1 upon e2 what is the w1 weight of copper deposited cu deposited divided by weight of silver deposited equal to e1 is the chemical equivalent of cu and e2 is the chemical equivalent of az Um, by using this formula, we can calculate the 
एनी अननोन मेटल केमिकल के इक्वेरेंट बिकॉज बाय यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला यू कैन इजीली कैलकुलेट द वेट ऑफ डिपॉजिटेड ऑन द रिस्पेक्टिव इलेक्ट दैट इज द टू मेटल एंड वेट ऑफ वन केमिकल इक्वेरेंट मेटल इज नोन देन कैलकुलेट द केमिकल इक्वेरेंट ऑफ अननोन मेटल अंडरस्टैंड by using this two law faraday's first law and faraday's second law what is the relation in between the coulomb and coulomb and faraday next point is the a relation between coulombs and faraday's You know that one coulomb of electricity means one ampere of current is passed in one second through the electrode solution. Again, you know that when you pass the one coulomb of electricity through an electrode solution, then one gram of electrochemical equivalent is deposited. Zero means if you pass the for deposition of One gram of electrochemical E C H means jhad required one coulomb of electricity. This is completed in Faraday's first law. Is it not? E C H means jhad means jhad is the jhad when one coulomb of electricity. Pass through the electrode solution. The amount of substance depending on the electrode is called as the charge or electric electrochemical C. According to Faraday's second law, if you pass the one Faraday of electricity, then it deposited one gram of chemical equivalent of substance on the respective electrode. Therefore, for deposition of one gram. chemical equivalent required how much electricity how write this equation in the mathematic form chemical equivalent of substance into 1 coulomb divided by ece of gram of ec of substance you see here is here two substance taken silver and copper you know the ec e 1 gram of ec e of silver how much 0.00118 0.00118 you know that equivalent weight of ez is 107.88 substitute the value in this equation chemical equivalent of substance means silver is how much for silver 107.88 divided by gram chemical equivalent of substance is how much 0.00118 calculate this value that is the coulomb 96494 coulomb Similarly, calculate for Cu. For Cu, one gram of E C E of Cu is equal to how much? Zero point zero zero three two nine. And equivalent weight. 
वेट ऑफ सी इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच थर्टी वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव देर फॉर कैलकुलेट फॉर सी यू सब्सिट द वैल्यू थर्टी वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो थ्री टू नाइन कैलकुलेट दिस वैल्यू बाय यूजिंग द कैलकुलेटर वी गेट नाइंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फाइव कुलम it means that on this equation we can easily conclude that 1 faraday is equal to 96500 coulomb this is the relation in between faraday and faraday and coulombs 1 faraday means 96500 coulomb you remember the very important point How do you define the one Faraday? The amount of electricity is required to deposit the one gram of equivalent weight of substance. The required electricity is called as the one Faraday. I understand. And one Faraday means how many coulomb electricity? Ninety-six thousand five hundred. This is the relation in between Faraday and Coulomb. which type of question may be asked in the examination as well as some important point will be given in the description box thank you